What is up guys, Killer Killer today back with a brand new episode of Skyrim Special Edition and Mod Showcases on my channel. Hopefully you guys are having a super sick day and today we are going to be covering the Hell Scream Mammoth Armor, Slayer Armor, excuse me. This armor looks absolutely baller, cannot wait to show you guys. Guys, this is done by our favourite Skyrim author to do with the modding community, absolutely beautiful. We've covered so many to do with this mod author as well. This is actually inspired off a World of Warcraft character as well. This is a male only armor so please do bear that in mind so guys what we're going to do is we're going to install this as always links are down in the description and then we are going to find him we're going to have to kill him as well and once he is dead then we can loot his corpse and grab his armor so we're going to go there i'm going to show you how to get it i'm going to show you how hard he's going to kill not for me though because i'm going to be using a different strategy than most of you would use and then uh, we're going to equip the armor and have a little look so here we go Okay guys, so we are here at Mount Greymoor. I think it's supposed to be Gra Mount Greymoor. It says on the actual forum that's Mount Grey Moon. So we're here. Obviously I've got a mod which allows me to have all these NPCs basically killing each other. So we're going to run into the mist and hopefully try and kill him. That's our only target. I didn't really worry about these too much, but he is actually in combat right now. I can actually see him. Whoa! I'm not just sure that was him or not. I'm pretty sure I can see him though. He's literally right at the back here like 90 percent sure he was back in here i think he might have roamed back inside there he is he's running up the top there he's got a massive axe as well this is crazy so what we're going to do is for me probably thinking well what's your strategy around this because i know for a fact that these sort of uh, armors are really hard to obtain the enemies on themselves are actually really damn strong so uh, i'm going to go in and uh, try and kill him so here we go i'm going to go up the stairs ever so slightly here i just want to have a better look oh there he is can we draw him down? Here he comes, cool. He's gonna drop down. Okay, here he is. I don't know if he's got a custom weapon as well. I know that we can see him. He's got, oh, there he goes and he's dead. Oh, bless him, fair enough, well he's dead. So there we go, we've got the helmets, the gauntlets, and the boots. I'm not too sure what his weapon was either, so I'm gonna pick that up just because I want to know what it is. So we're going to quit all the armor as well. Once we've done that, I want to see if that is a modded weapon or not. So bear with me two seconds, guys. So as you can tell, guys, the armor does look absolutely goddamn beautiful. Look at those massive chunky horns hanging out the back of there. They're obviously going to be mammoth horns as well. Obviously, hence why the name of Hellscream Mammoth Slayer armor looks absolutely God damn beautiful and as well which is a little bit upsetting that we couldn't actually get any weapons from that guy because the axe he had looked pretty damn cool I'm pretty sure it might be a silver axe though I'm not too sure but we're gonna obviously have to experiment and play around with it obviously I've equipped a two-hander on the back here it doesn't look as great I'd prefer a meaty axe just because I feel like it would suit the character a lot more Guys, we want to go an extra step as well. Same with the sound armor we covered last week. This would be a really nice addition. If you slightly enlarged your character, so made him probably like some seven foot two, um, absolutely muscly as a mountain would be. Yeah, the mountain. Basically, go for the mountain if you want to wear this armor. My guy's a little bit small for this armor. I'd like uh, to see a massive dude wearing this because I feel like that's appropriate for it. But yeah, overall, an absolute beautiful set of armor. Don't think I could fault it out at all. It looks absolutely beautiful. There's obviously a few different elements from vanilla added onto that. But apart from that, it's really damn nice. I love the horns that hang out the back there. Obviously, that sort of caped area around the back there. And that helmet definitely, from yeah, from the back, definitely looks like one of the Elder Scrolls Online. Which uh, we kind of covered one of the Nordic armors to do with one of those absolutely ages ago. But it does look very similar, it does look very similar to that as well. But, from sort of a World, in War, World of Warcraft inspired arm, it looks absolutely goddamn beautiful. I think this could actually be very lore friendly, just for the fact of it's not over the top on armor rating, and for the fact as well, it actually kind of fits into the world of Skyrim. We've got the mammoth horns in there as well, which is really kind of cool, and obviously you've got these sort of some vanilla aspects, a little bit tweaked to do with the vanilla game, obviously modded up to into this armor as well. But apart from that, I think it's really damn good. We're going to be covering a ton of different mods from this author as well throughout the week, so be prepared to see some absolutely beautiful mods. Who knows? I might name it his week. We're not, not too sure yet, but this is definitely a contender for the top five 
for this week guys if you did enjoy this absolutely beautiful looking armor obviously hit me up with a like and a comment let me know what you think in the comment section below i actually got like this armor a ton it looks really damn cool just the amount of detailing as well like the little spikes on the mammoth horns the mammoth horns themselves as well sort of a little engraved and crafted as well which looks pretty damn cool and just everything else flows really goddamn nice Bit of a pain in the ass to get if you're playing a normal character, but I highly recommend if you just want to rush out and get it like myself. Obviously get some cheat armor and take it down pretty easy, but apart from that, he could be quite hard to kill. Guys, hopefully they did enjoy this episode of my mod showcases. If you did, hit me up with a like and a comment. Let me know what you want to see next on the channel as well, but until the next one guys, kill a kid bit and get a get out.